Hello beautiful, it's Shamika Sanders here and I'm here with Demetria Ship from the new Tupac movie, All Eyes On Me. I had a chance to see the movie last week. You guys are in for a treat because if you love Pac, you are going to love everything that goes down in this film. We get to really look at how Pac became Pac all the things he went through in life and you know just get into those moments that we saw from the public eye when he was growing up versus like you know things that we didn't see and you were waiting for people to see the film to get their reaction did you watch the film and what was your reaction so i've seen a cut of the movie but that was like a long time ago so at this point i, I a couple weeks ago i watched like 20 minutes of the movie mm -hmm. in between and then I watched the end of the movie like a couple of days ago. What are you waiting for? When are you gonna watch the full movie? I wanna watch it on the premiere day, two okay. days. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in a, okay. I wanna see the finished product when everybody else does. Okay. Like I want to, yeah. you know, take that ride with everybody. That has to be um scary, I would think. Cause you're just like, you gave, I'm pretty sure your heart and soul into sure. this because you have to really embrace and, you know, immerse yourself into Pac when you're playing character like Pac. Right. How did you even get into preparing to play such a vibrant character. Pac talks so fast at some points, I don't even know how you can remember those lines. I mean, he talked fast, I talk fast myself, okay. so it's not that much uh, off, but you know, the beginning I just like started just watching as much Tupac as I could. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of videos of Pac on, you know, yeah. on the internet on YouTube, so every day, all night, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. I would just watch Pac. I fall asleep literally to Tupac movies or uh, videos. I wake up in the morning, they still be going. Mm -hmm. You know, when I eat Tupac. Um, and when one you of the eat. things that I yeah, like, <laughs> like they say um, eat, sleep, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever. And I literally did every yes. one of those. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, okay, this is what it takes. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to yeah. eat Pac. I'm going to sleep Pac. You know what I'm saying? All that. So um, another thing that I did was learning the interviews. Mm. I was sent, I was sit by the TV and record myself. You know why he did the interviews and learn them verbatim and did, then you know work on the mm. mannerisms along with it mm. you had the mannerisms down pack i have to <laughs> say like there are a couple scenes where you're just going and you're flowing and you really have to say like am i watching tupac or am i watching the actor and i guess that's also a testament to your acting mm. so like how long have you been acting because everyone thinks that you know you're new to the scene but Come this is like now. overnight celebs is like that's not a real thing i'm 28 years old i've been acting 30 years now mm. i was like oh <laughs> i was like well that's deep <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my first acting job. Really? I've never acted before. You lie. I swear. It's a lie, y'all. Because, I mean, this is your first acting job. I've never so, how did you even get cast in, in the first place? So, like back in 2011, mm -hmm. I did this open you know, audition call, uh -huh. um, submitted it to the internet, and then my pops forwarded the video to LT Hutton, mm -hmm. and that's how the ball got rolling. And I've been like auditioning year in and year out since 2011 until mm -hmm. 2015 when I got the ball. Well, you are blessed, sir, because there are a lot of people on Twitter still mad as hell that they didn't get to play. No, I don't think <laughs> in so. The oh, yes, they are. We see them. They're, people are really just hurt that, because everyone feels like they may have resembled Pac or looked like Pac or had a Pac attribute, and they're like, well, I could have played Pac, and you have the role. So how blessed do you feel to even be carrying on or carrying on this story? Pac is legendary. Pac is Pac. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really a blessing. You know, um, I, I want to say it's a... I feel like the torch has been passed in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Because there's some things that I, I'm alike with Pac as far as speaking mm -hmm. out at, you know, or speaking, you know, with your platform, using mm -hmm. your platform to be able to be a voice of people. Big thing and really, me, I ultimately just want to motivate and inspire people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Tupac does the same thing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? He's, he's a motivation and an inspiration to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just take it and, and, and want to use it for the best and mm -hmm. not be like, oh, I'm, Tupac or I'm the guy that did that and it's you know what yeah. I'm saying? it's like you know use it for great I was talking about on your way here I was asking you can you take the train anymore because do you get recognized or do do people make it really hard for you to get to your final stop how has your life changed since like it came out because I know that this was for a while this was six years in the making yeah. and we didn't actually know who was gonna play Pac mm -hmm. but we were just really anticipating someone like who looks like him we're gonna be like who gonna be like Pac uh, so then you got the role and then you were able to announce it because there's a time in between right, right, right. that how has your life changed since you announced that you were going to be Tupac? It's very interesting because, like, all this year, earlier in the part, like, early in the months, you know, I can go certain places and, like, actually not get recognized. And those is, like, the coolest days to me. Yeah. I'll be walking around like, hey, nobody see me. You know what I'm saying? Nobody know who I am. That's dope. Yeah. But then, like, now, it's like, 
that's out. Yeah, I, everywhere I go now, mm -hmm. I can, like take pictures and stuff. But that's cool though. I yeah. love it. But do they do they come up to you? Do they call you Tupac or do they call you by your name? No, this is what's so crazy. You know, this this white guy called me by my name. Like he's with his family, his young kids and all that stuff. But he's like, hey, are you Demetrius? I'm like, well, that's scary. I'm just yeah. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> we in the we in the lobby of the Four Seasons. You know what I'm saying? He called yeah. me by my name. I'm like, that's dope. You yeah. Know what I'm so it's cool. That's cool. And um, I have to know, is, is this a real nose ring? Is this like your thing? Or did you like, how far did you delve into getting into Pac? Like, well, the first time around in 2011, I went bald and, you know, got the nose ring for real back then. Okay. And for then Pac? It, yeah, for sure. For this role. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, I had it for like a couple months and then I didn't even get a call back or nothing like that. It was, production was slowed or stopped or anything. They was, just, I just had to like figure it out. Like, okay, well, I guess the movie's not happening. So well, man, I, I have my a nose hair ring. back and <laughs> took the nose ring out, but I got the nose ring again when I uh, started filming. That is awesome. Okay, so the movie comes out on Friday and you are excited to see what people are going to say about it. What if people say bad stuff about it? And what you gonna do? I mean, they are gonna say bad stuff about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not gonna love it. They're, I mean, that's just the world we live in. Mm -hmm. Some people like apples, some like oranges. This is true. And some people hate both. Yes. <laughs> so you are prepared for whatever comes to story. And obviously they're going to be, like you said, both good and bad. And right. there's also going to be a lot of good. Yeah, but I mean, for me, the people that were close to Pac and live with him, and, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. grew up with him, have great reviews about the movie. They, you know, they connect to it. They love the story. Yeah. They love the acting. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they say that it's the realest story that you could tell about Tupac. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that makes me feel good. That gives me a great deal of confidence going into the release. Yeah. And, you know, that is going to transcend the same way within the fans. Okay. And my last question for you is, um, you know, Pac, I can imagine that his personality kind of takes over. And I think about actors like Heath Ledger and they go method and they really get into it. But what did you learn about yourself playing Pac? Oh, man. <laughs> There's just layers to myself that I was kind of holding in. And I just like this, this, I have all the confidence now. Like I'm, I'm I, I believed in myself, but when I got around certain like scenarios or certain situations, yeah. talking in front of groups of people, I'd be like shy and stuff yeah. like that. But now like that's, oh, I'm good. Oh wow, <laughs> look at that. Did you learn that from Pac? Did he make you, cause I mean, Pac was, he was badass and he I held nothing back. I, I don't, I just think the whole process, you know, my mm. acting coach, I attribute a lot of that to her, you know, because yeah. she gave me the, the skills I need to be able to pull this off. Yeah. You know, so now I'm just, I'm just good. Taking the, taking the ride. Uh, also in the film, I just wanted to touch on this before we go. Jada Pinkett has a very prominent role in the film, mm -hmm. and um, you worked with I think that's Cat Graham. Yeah. How was that working? in? like that relationship between Pac and Jada is so confusing a little bit. Were you just as confused as us? Confused about what? I thought they should have been together and just ran off into the sunset. Sorry, uh, Will. I mean, you like everybody makes that speculation, and I really don't even know where it derives from, honestly, because you've never seen them mention like. They were great friends as kids, but I don't know where that comes from. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, past that, all you hear them mention from their mouths is that they were just good friends and they have a unique love for each other on a friendship level. Mm -hmm. So all of the whole fairy tale thing that people want to add to it, I guess that's just, you know, how I guess the mind we just want to add that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna let you go, sir. And thank you so much for being here with us um, in All Eyes on Me in theaters on Friday. Make June sure you go call. June 16th. June 16th, his birthday. Yeah. Y'all gonna be blessed. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay.